I run for miles with checkpoints like a marathon triathlete chasing six-minute micro-accomplishments. Visions of success dangle just outside of my grasp. <laughs> I wish I was three inches taller. Then maybe my arms would be one half inch longer and the golden carrot would merge with my path. But I am not. Instead, I am a measly three feet and sixteen inches. My name is she, but my friends call me him. Dad knows me as princess while my mother calls me son, but my siblings... Know me as the wind. Traveled the seas? I have. Built nations from scratch in my imagination. I watched the world from the back seat of my family's minivan. Sitting in my high seat, I reached for my ambitions, but I am strapped in. My dreams are not yet rational because when I speak of fame or millions, the adults cringe. If I ever mentioned innovation, my childish words are met with an insincere grin. My timeouts for refusing to read these books are maybe meant to help me reflect on my sinful actions. Or maybe... They are meaningless, systematic oppression of my feelings and mind. Excuse my lack of attention for these simple fractions, but I am searching for the next street sign. For seven years I have chased the air and still I have wound up here. This classroom is filled with biased information. And in eleven years I'll be wondering in which world I should make use of my dictated education. In 214 days, my birthday arrives. Now that I'll be eight years old, things will be different. Only two years away from double digits, I choose to chase the open space in front of me. Still, I am in this distant land far from here. I call it the Forest of Origin. There aren't many more like me left. For every million that you insidiously murder with your radio stations and televisions, only one is born. Call me the impoverished. Name me names with disgraceful definitions. Promote me as insane for chasing the air, but keep in mind that you do not see my vision. I am the youth. I am your kin.